The definition of retrofit is to install new or modified parts or equipment in something previously manufactured or constructed. Several years ago, I had installed a brushless motor and LiPo batteries in an electric sailplane that previously had a geared Speed 400 and NICAD batteries. The increase in performance was outstanding. Many years ago, I purchased a used Taylor Craft. It was an electric model, all balsa wood in a hobby shop. Well, I decided recently I'd try to get it flying again. The stab had broken loose, but I repaired that. I tried to use a direct drive brush Speed 400 motor. I would have been better if I would have had a geared Speed 400, but I didn't at the time. For the ESC, I used one out of my RC-10 radio control buggy, which was really heavy. With heavy NICAD batteries for power, it barely got off the ground. This time I'm using a brushless motor, lithium batteries, and an ESC that's designed for model airplanes. I purchased a 30 amp ESC. Maybe I should have gotten a 40 amp, but I think this will be enough. I installed some medium sized servos as the control surfaces are rather large and I didn't think small servos might handle it. Here you can see how large the surfaces are. To get the fit for the firewall I first created a cardboard template and fitted that to the inside before I made the plywood firewall. The rear of the motor shaft sticks out a bit in the, so I had to create a big hole for that and then I installed the blind nuts in the firewall. This is approximately where the firewall will go. Now there's a cowl that goes in front of that so I have to take that in consideration also. The plane is wide enough I think the battery can sit crossways. I epoxied the blind nuts in and added a couple of pieces as reinforcements to the back of the firewall. I epoxied the firewall in and made sure that it was pointing straight and that it, the cowl would fit on and a propeller could go in front of the cowl. I placed the rest of the RC equipment in the fuselage and plugged it in to check that the servos were operating in the proper direction and then I had adequate throws. It looks pretty good to me. Okay, it looks good, so let's do some flying. Well, I can see it's got plenty of power now. The takeoff, it seemed like it had a little too much up, and maybe it could use some nose weight, but it seems pretty stable otherwise. The plane flies rather slow, but I've got a real low pitch propeller, and there is a lot of wing area, and the fuselage is rather wide, so there's a lot of drag. I was a little nervous on that first landing, with a tail dragger and a wooden prop, but I really greased it in pretty well. Okay, let's make another flight and let's add another camera so we can see a view from the front. Okay, I'm going to call my retrofit a success. I've got a little bit of cosmetic work I can do on the airplane, but I'm well satisfied with how it flies.